Hey co-hosts, I wanted to hop on here and make a quick video to share with you my process of how I am sharing about the clean eating crock pot group challenge and how I am promoting it, how I am talking to the people who express an interest and eventually adding them into the group. So first off, I really feel like free groups are a vital part to your business, especially as you are a coach longer and you are really um, diving into your cold market group. These free groups allow you to offer value and to build relationships with people um, right out of the gate. So you are not initially asking them for anything. You are simply offering value and you can build that relationship with them behind the scenes. So like I said, I just want to make this video to show you guys how I am promoting my free group group and talking with the people behind the scenes. So first off, I am running an ad for my free group through my like page. Um, I did a bunch of split testing initially um, with a bunch of different images to find out which image was working the best. And I can share those other images with you as well and sh as show you my winning ad, which is this one right here. So um, I was actually surprised, but this image was my winning image. So it's what you're seeing right here, this all new 14 day clean eating crock pot group image right here. And this is my copy that I'm using. Um, I will also text this copy for you guys into the message thread. So this is what it looks like. I also ran it just on my page. So if you're not doing ads yet, that's totally fine. You can put this on your page. I also put it on my personal page as well. And here I will go in and share with you the other images so you can sort of get an idea of what I was doing. So I'm over here in my um, ads manager. And an interesting thing is, is this ad right here actually does have a lot of text in the image. And it used to be that you could not run ads on images that have more than 20% text. But Facebook has recently lifted that um, stipulation and we're able to run as much text as we want. And they actually, it's funny because I got a note here saying that they, they think it would perform better if it had less text, but that's why we run split tests because I tested a bunch of different images and this is actually getting the best response far and away. So I can show you sort of other ones I've done here. Uh, let me look at a different way. Hold on. Let me go back here. That's going to be a little bit more complicated. Hmm. I'm going to go into my power editor. That will be a little bit better way to show you guys. Just sort of what I've done so you can get an idea of what the images look like. No, it's not going to let me show you. Okay. Sorry, it's being a little bit complicated. So I will just stick with my winning ad and I can upload those images into the message thread if you guys want to see them. So basically that is the ad that I'm running right now. I'm split testing it with a bunch of different audiences um, to see which audience is, is um, performing the best and then I can target it to them. So that's what's going on right here. So basically once somebody has responded to my ad and I'll just show you here over on my like page oh, where that is. Hold on. All right, so what I'm doing is once somebody has responded, I am liking the post, commenting below, and then I'm sending them a private message. And in the private message, it's this message right here. Oh, hold on one sec. That is to my people I already know. So I'm sending a different message to people I know versus people I don't know. So this is what I'm sending to people on my like page. Basically, I'm excited you want to join, a little bit about it. Then I'm asking them to send me a friend request. So why I'm doing that and not sending them a friend request is Facebook doesn't like it if you start sending people a ton of friend requests in one day. So if you're running an ad for a, for a group like this, you're going to be sending a lot of messages to new people and you don't want to be sending like 30 friend requests a day. Facebook does not like that. 
So it's better to have them send you a friend request. This is also sort of like a first step of pre-qualifying people to see how interested they are. Because if they're going to take the step to send you a friend request, then they are going to be somebody who is going to be more active in the group, they're going to participate more, and they're going to get more out of it. So this is basically like your first step of pre-qualifying people. Now, so this is the message I'm sending people to my like page. Once they have accepted my friend request, then I will give them the link to add them into the group. So you also want to have people request to join the group. You don't want to be adding them in. Um, it's another sort of best practice with Facebook. They also don't like it if you are all of a sudden adding a ton of people into a group. They might see that as like you're spamming people. Um, so it's better to send them the request and have the person request to join themselves. So that is what I'm doing with my people who are coming from my like page and people who I am already friends with. I'm sending a slightly different message. Um, I'm assuming that I've already had conversations with them and so I'm sending them the link right away. So in my first message, here's the link. And then I'm asking them, what are your goals with this group? So we can start a conversation out of what interested them, what they hope to get out of it. Now I'm keeping track of everybody using Asana. So over here, I just have a new list here and I have everybody who's expressed interest in this group. So this is from my like page and my personal page. And these little hearts here mean that I'm friends. So this is another way for me to keep track of who has, who is either already my friend from my personal page or from my like page who sent me a friend request and I have accepted. And this is just a way for me to keep track of where people are at in the process so I know how to follow up with them. So as soon as anybody has um, sent me a friend request or accepted my friend request or sent me a friend request, I'm just going to give them a little heart and that's how I know we are now friends. Okay, so I think that just about wraps it up as far as what I'm doing to promote it. Um, I will be over this next week really talking a lot about this group on my page. So I might be doing live videos, sharing, you know, talking about recipes I'm making, posting about recipes I'm making, sharing about crock pot stuff, um, and really trying to dive into conversations with these new people while I have, um, while I'm promoting this. And then next week will be our prep week, so starting on the 10th, and we'll get more into that at a later date. So let me know if you have any questions about how I'm running this, what I'm doing. Um, I'm happy to help and super excited to do this with you guys. Have an awesome Monday. Bye.